Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my very first Let's Play video. Th and by very first, I mean literally, this is my first Let's Play video ever. Uh, I'm going to be playing a game called Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead, which is a roguelike game. Uh, basically, it uses the ASCII font or uh, DOS font, uh, which is just characters and keys. I'll be playing with a tile set, so you can actually see what's going on, what it looks like. Uh, I just find that the tile sets a little bit better, a little bit more aesthetically pleasing to the eyes. So that's what we'll be using. Um, this game's a lot of fun and it's very difficult. So I'm hoping to at least make it long enough to make the series interesting. I'm, I'm only going to be doing, well, my goal is to only do one character for a certain length of time. Try to see how far we get, and then once that character dies, we'll pretty much be where we cut the uh, the season off, so it could be very short, uh, but hopefully not. Okay, so let's do this. First, we're going to start by making a world. Um, I do already have a world made, but that is for my Twitch stream, uh, where I, Twitch, uh, I stream this game live for viewers. If you want to check that out, maybe catch me streaming on my other world, or see me streaming other games. I do stream a lot of other games. Uh, the link should be in my channel. You can just click on that, head over to my Twitch. Hopefully I'm streaming. I don't really have a setup schedule yet. I kind of just do it when it is convenient for me. Uh, with my work schedule, it's kind of hard. But uh, maybe you'll get a chance to swing over and check that out, catch me playing uh, Cataclysm Live. Either way, we're going to start by creating a brand new world. So the mod list. Uh, we'll add boats. I haven't really messed with bolts, uh, boats. <laughs> bolts. I haven't really messed with boats. Uh, boats at all so it'll be kind of cool to maybe find some experimental Z level that means you can basically go uh, you can already go down in the game in the basements but this is supposed to allow you to go up so we'll see how that works and then the weapons pack because I like weapons and I don't mind having a lot we'll save that list okay head on over world gen options so size of cities four. I'm fine with that let's get this cursor out of the way uh, yeah so I'm fine with four um, spawn scaling factor. I have that trimmed down a little bit. Uh, I just take note of the fact that I, I've only probably played this game maybe six times. Ooh, that coffee was good. That was a good brew of coffee. Um, I've only played this game probably like six times, so I'm actually fairly new to it. Um, so if you see me doing some fairly newish things, you feel free to let me know um, in the comments below. Uh, and I'll try to hopefully get better at it. Default region type, we'll keep that. Uh, item spawning scaling factor. I didn't bring that up yet. That, that we're just going to leave the same. All this we're going to leave the same. Static spawn, true. Uh, basically, you can have a, stat a static spawn and a dynamic spawn. And from what I un understand, it, static spawn is the zombies and the creatures spawn into the game. Uh, when the world is generated, it's a it's a procedurally generated world. So, all the zombies are going to spawn in the beginning of the game. Uh, dynamic spawn is zombies can spawn throughout the course of the game based off of like, you know, if you make a lot of sound and stuff like that. I like static spawn because I like the idea of the fact that I can clear out a town and have it empty, kind of have a safe haven. Uh, wander spawns, that's basically like hordes that wander around the map. I, I tend to... Generally, I, I've done about two games with that on, and usually the hordes wander over to my evac shelter and kill me within the first five minutes of the game, so I've turned them off for now. Uh, we're obviously not going to do a surrounded start. I'm not that good yet. Static NPCs. Uh, NPCs tend to be kind of buggy. From what I've read on the forum, static NPCs tend to be okay, whereas random NPCs um, that spawn during gameplay can crash your game, and we really do not want to crash this game. Uh, mutations by radiation. I'll keep that on. I think. Yeah, yeah, we'll keep it on. Uh, some mutations can be good for you. Some can be very bad. Hopefully, we don't get any bad ones. So confirmation. Uh, and this is just confirming the game, uh, the world that we're creating, confirming the name of it. So, uh, Tustin. Well, I'd like. One. Oh my goodness, Sparta. <laughs> well. <laughs> Yeah, you, uh, you could definitely assume that we're keeping Sparta as our world name. So I'm definitely going to say uh, save Sparta, and we're going to be playing in Sparta. So custom character, preset character, random character. Oh, 
we're going to do uh, a custom character so that way you can kind of get a feel for everything that's going on so let's do custom character and this is Bridgewater like I said that's the that's the place that I'm playing in right now is Bridgewater uh, I mean that's for my twitch stream so if you feel free to you know stop by my twitch and check it out maybe you can catch me playing on Bridgewater Sparta though that's where we're playing so we're gonna play in Sparta yes I would like to start a game in World Sparta <laughs> alright so let's do this sorry there if it seemed like the uh, if I cut out for a second when I piece that back together I had a knock at the door okay so uh, scenario here's the, here's your characters uh, creation screen here uh, scenario basically lets us uh, choose different scenarios we can start at start out as so uh, challenge lab you've been locked in a lab with no way out survive as long as you can bring up uh, brag about it in the forums picks or it didn't happen so you can start out in a lab which is a really hard start um, infected in the chaos and panic of evacuation you got bitten by something you didn't get proper medical care and now the wound has started turning green so you could start out infected and have to find disinfectant or a first aid kit or something these are usually all very uh, challenging starts not all of them but most of them are, are challenging starts for the most part I mean here's one here uh, the last firefighter against all odds you managed to make it back to the station house in one piece now the Rhiannon made a husk of your former comrades you want to make sure you never leave it again and you'll start in different locations and such. Uh, we're just going to do evacuee. Um, you've survived the initial wave of panic and have achieved relative safety in one of the many government evac shelters. So that's how we're going to start, just evacuee. I just want to start with a regular game here. Maybe uh, I can do some different scenarios later down the road and try to survive these as I get better at the game and such. Uh, if you have any suggestions for maybe wanting to see me do a specific scenario, uh, just shoot me a comment down below. And... Uh, I will definitely try it out and uh, see how I can do. So strength. Let's start with 12. I like to start with a lot of strength. That inc uh, definitely changes uh, how much we can lift and how much damage we can take. Dexterity will do 10. Intelligence will do 10. Perception will do 11. I like to do perception 11 because I like to be able to actually see traps. And I believe 11 is where you can see almost all traps intelligence 10 is fine dexterity um, that uh, 10 is fine and then strength is 12 so as you can see our points are a little bit of the hole here that's okay though we're gonna take some uh, um, some negative traits here to kind of balance that out let's take fast metabolism I always can find lots of food so fast metabolism has never been a problem for me when I've taken it before hopefully that doesn't come to bite me in the ass this time how about nearsighted. I don't mind nearsighted because you start with a pair of glasses and I can always find an extra pair and I can always find contacts so I'm, I'm not going to worry too much about nearsighted. Poor hearing. I don't really care to hear anything. It's the end of the world. I really don't have much I want to hear. Um, truth teller and ugly. Boy, that sucks. Yeah, so we're going to be ugly. That's unfortunate. And we're going to have a really hard time lying, which is also fine. We only have static NPCs, and I don't plan on interacting with them all too often. I honestly only have them in here for zombie th uh, zombie fodder. Hmm. What else? Well, that's good for now. Let's go to profession. Um, you could pick all sorts of professions. Uh, you could be a, start out with a crackhead, and you have a crack cocaine withdrawal. Uh, a hobo, you have an alcohol withdrawal, <laughs> so I mean there's lots of things you can start with. A lost submissive, I don't think I ever noticed that before. Oh my god, you start with a bondage suit, a bondage mask, a leather belt, a, can <laughs> a candle, and a matchbook. Early in the rush to safety, you are separated from your master by cruel fate. Now you are on your own with nothing to your name but a suit of really kinky black leather. <laughs> Unfortunately, there's no safe words in the apocalypse. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> what the fuck? Okay. I don't know how I didn't notice that before. We're not going to start as a law submissive. Maybe another time. I'm going to use the one I usually like to use, which is, uh, there's a lot of them here I'd like to try, but I'm going to try, uh, I'm going to use Taylor. Being able to reinforce clothing and make backpacks and such is always really useful. 
So I would like to go with Taylor. For traits, I always like picking fast healer because I don't like waiting to heal. So fast healer always is nice and night vision because it's always nice to see a little bit farther in the dark. I would like to take some other things, but I don't have any more points. And I don't think there's anything else over here that I want to take. You know what? That's fine. We're just going to have these here. So we got... Let's see. Let's go over here. We're not going to take any skills, obviously, because we can learn all of these skills in the game. So I don't mind that. So what do we got here? Strength, 12. Dexterity, 10. Intelligence, 10. Perception, 11. Our traits are fast metabolism, nearsighted, poor hearing, truth teller, and ugly. Those are our negative traits. Our positive traits are fast healer and night vision. Our scenarios are an evacuee. Our profession is tailoring. And our skills, we're going to start with tailoring 4, which is great. Let's pick a name. Let's actually have the, na the game pick a name first. Olin Arthur. Um... Kenneth Lyon, hmm, Lawrence Cox, Steven Peterson, that's kind of boring, Ronaldo, actually that would have been a good one, Getsu, I can't pronounce that, some of these are really, Steve O'Donnell, yes, Steve, you've got this, Steve O'Donnell it is, Mr. O'Donnell, I like it, let's do it, are you sure you're finished, I'm finished, let's start in the world of Sparta with Steve O'Donnell, so here we are, in Sparta, um, first thing first, let's check the map. Interesting. Um, this is a really good start and a bad start. Let me explain. It's good because we're close to a town. It's bad because we're almost too close. But zombies honestly shouldn't wander this far out because I don't have hordes on. Um, so we've got some houses here. What's this? Is this what I think it is? A military outpost that's great if we can get some military IDs or even some C4 we can go get some guns a gun store that's good antique store haven't been to one don't know what it spawns pharmacy's good lots of churches a doctor's office we could definitely get some great supplies from that a military surplus store a church a park a pizza parlor mm, clothing store those are big radio station usually has nothing a dojo a fire station Arcade and a bowling alley. That's cool. I've never been to the arcade or bowling alley. Or the dojo. Fire station. I've never been to a fire station either. Supposedly they make very good bases. So, hmm, maybe. It is on the outskirts of town. That could potentially be where we set up camp. I try not to do it in the evac shelter if I can help it. Not that the evac shelter is a bad place to set up camp. It's just that... I normally like to be right in town. Oh, electronics store. That'll be worth it. Pizza parlor. Was there anything else we could set up? The military surplus store is going to be huge. Doctor's office, too. And then we want to hit this at some point. We got a great start. Let's see what's inside here. Anything? No. Okay, we also want to check the basement. But before we do that, let's head outside and grab a rock. So, oh my god! Oh, <laughs> shit. Wow. <laughs> oh, my goodness. So, any of you that have ever played Cataclysm before, this probably does not surprise you. All I wanted to do was simply head outside and grab a rock, and not even maybe 30 seconds into the game, I opened the door and surprised Moose. And these moose are blood hungry. These are probably the most aggressive moose ever in a game. If I had to like rank the top 10 villains in video games, moose from Cataclysm would definitely be the top. These things are violent. And he already, not only did he just fly through the door as soon as I opened it, he already struck at my left leg. And injured me, and put me in pain, and now I need to escape him. Luckily, we have the NPC in the room, which should run over here and help me, which is exactly why I have them turned on. So, let's get the hell away from this moose. He's going to chase me, and he's hitting me, and he's hurting me a lot. But our NPC friend is here. He's not worried about us anymore. He's more worried about him. Oh my goodness, we've got to help him. What is he hitting him with? Oh, he's cutting the moose. He has a knife or something. He also healed himself. 
Okay, we may be okay. As long as he's got a knife, he should be able to kill this moose, no problem. Let's try to let's try to get around. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. No, this is not a good idea. We're going out this door here. The moose is after us. What the hell? Okay, we're out the door. Shut the door. Okay, we're just going to leave the uh, NPC in there with the moose. Um, wow, what the hell was that? Are you kidding me? How are we going to spawn with a moose on top of us? I can't believe he just barged in there like that. How rude. <laughs> You've got to be kidding me. Okay, we're going to come through this door here. He's still battling it out with the moose. We've got to kill this moose. We need to make a weapon. We're going to smash this bench here. Oh, i got to wield the rock first. That would help. All right, we're wielding the rock in our inventory. Let's smash this bench. Smash, smash, smash. There we go. All right, got to craft ourselves a nail board real quickly. This is getting heated. Let's drop the rock on the ground here. Let's wield ourselves the nail board, and let's help our NPC friend fight this moose. I'm not sure why he's just sitting there. I'm not sure if he's injured. He cut the moose, and then he's just healing himself. He must be severely injured from that moose, and the moose is kind of just chilling now. All right. Wow, this moose does not know how to die. Oh, oh my goodness. The moose knows no mercy. Finally, the moose is dead. Our NPC friend is safe. I'm safe. Luckily, I'm only pain, uh, pain three. What a nightmare. Next time, I'll make sure I open up the windows before I uh, open the door, although it looks like I probably wouldn't have saw him anyways, seeming as he was pretty much right outside the door. Let's tear down these curtains so we can craft ourselves some gear. We'll take the sheets. Um, we'll wear them since we have no room in our inventory. Where is he going? Where are you going? Come back, please. You're literally the only friend I have in the apocalypse. <sighs> Alright. Sometimes you gotta let him go. I'm assuming he's going to kill more moose. Um, out of pure rage. That's okay. We're gonna let him do that then. Let's use our... Actually, let's reload our sewing kit. And let's use our pair of scissors to cut up these sheets that we picked up. You're wearing that. Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. Pair of scissors. Activate. Cut up. Other sheet. Yes, I'm sure. Okay, let's drop some of the rags that fell in our inventory. So we have 38 rags here. Beautiful. Let's craft ourselves some gear. How about a backpack? You craft backpack from memory. There's no room in your inventory for the backpack. Therefore, we will pick it up. And yes, we will put it on. All right, so now we have a backpack, which is great. How are we doing here? So our left and right arm and our mouth is good. Our torso is all right. Our head, left and right hands are cold. All right, um, let's drop the blazer because it's worthless. And it just encumbers me. So my torso encumbrance is one, which is probably from... The backpack and the polo shirt has some encumbrance. Let's get rid of the polo shirt. So let's make a long sleeve shirt to wear. You see the moose approaching. <laughs> oh my god. Stop crafting. Yes. Don't craft. Where is the moose approach? Um, where is this moose? You don't see any monsters around. Where did he go? Is he outside? Please don't. Oh my god. Moose. Oh no. What the fuck? Are you kidding me? Another moose through the front door. This time we don't have our NPC friend. We're going to fight the moose. He's running. I'm running because my torso is severely damaged. I kind of just want the moose to leave. Where? Where is our friend? What was his name? I don't remember. Where is he? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, he's dead. He's dead. The moose got him. The moose killed him. He's dead. He's not on the map. Oh my goodness. Are you kidding me? Oh, fuck. Alright, where are you, buddy? Where's your body, man? How could this happen? How could I let this happen? No. Can it be? Oh. Murray Rios. This is terrible. Wow, look at all the stuff you had. No wonder you were healing yourself. Look at all the drugs. 
I won't let your gear go to waste. And by that I mean I'm going to wear everything you 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 have on you. Um, I'm going to cut up the pants I'm wearing. Oh, please don't take notice of the fact that I'm not wearing pants right now because I'm about to put on a pair of jeans. There you go. See, I'm not naked for too long. Whatever, pair of sneakers. Let's cut up. Let's cut up the dress shoes I'm wearing. Yes. Let's wear this pair of sneakers here. There we go. What else do you have on you, Murray? Oh, I'm so sorry. I feel so bad. I just let him go off and fight this moose alone. And then the moose killed him and, and came for me. It came for revenge. No, I can't let I can't let Murray Rios just lay here and die like this. Let's put this filter mask on here. That'll protect our mouth and make keep our mouth a little warm. A lot of antibiotics, antiparasitic drugs, aspirin, plastic bottle of disinfectant. Um, I won't worry about that. These I'll keep these here for now. But the Ambien, the Prozac, uh, the, the he this guy was just loaded Xanax. Oh God, but I feel like an asshole. Small plastic. Bottle servings of, what is this, protein? Raw, raw refined protein. Mm. I don't know why it says it's difficult to enjoy. I Personally, I love protein. Okay, so we got the nail board. Let's look at the wood axe real quickly. It's a tool, but it has bash 20 and cut 4. So we're actually going to drop the nail board, as crazy as it sounds, because we're going to wield the wood axe. Okay. I don't have bandages, though. This is terrible. That moose just came out of nowhere. Slaughtered Rios. Just killed him in his prime. He made it this far. Survived the zombie apocalypse. All the mutated creatures that spawned from the deepest pits of hell. Only to be slaughtered by this moose that is now hunting me. Straight up hunting my ass. You've got to be kidding me. Let's pull him into this bush here. I doubt that it's going to slow him down very much. Ugh. The moose is smarter than the zombies. He knows not to go in the bush. You've got to be kidding me. This is ridiculous. Come on, moose. Fight me. Fight me, moose. That's it. This one's for you, Murray. This one's for you. Doing this for Murray. It's for killing my friend, moose. For scaring the shit out of me. You want some too, dog? I ain't afraid. Moose corpse. We can actually butcher this corpse. I guess we cannot butcher the corpse. The axe doesn't cut it. That's fine. <laughs> Puns. The axe doesn't cut it. All right. Let's head up and back inside and pray to God we don't get attacked by another moose. I haven't even had a chance to check the basement yet. Let's drop our drugs off over by the console. I don't need all these on me. Um, I mean, these don't really weigh anything. Oops. Didn't mean to drop the wood axe. These don't really weigh anything, but I'll drop tw 20 of them well, actually, there's no point. That's a lot of aspirin. No, I'll just keep it all on me. It doesn't weigh much. I'll just keep it on me for now. Because this isn't really where, um, where I want to set up anyways. So, what was I making? Wasn't I making a long sleeve shirt? I'm afraid to craft now. I'm afraid another moose is going to come in here. Is, is the door shut? God. Ah, the moose opened the door too, didn't he? No, I opened the door. That's right, because I saw the moose. As long as I don't open the door, I should be okay. So if I see a moose, I should be able to still keep crafting. So let's make this long sleeve shirt here. Oh boy, there better not be more moose out there. Okay, we're going to wear the long sleeve shirt. And we're going to cut up this polo that we're wearing. It's actually shredded up because of fighting the moose. You're wearing that. Are you sure? Yes, I am sure. I want to drop these rags here. Alright, so we're wearing ripped briefs. The moose... The the moose. The moose managed to somehow tear our underwear. Needless to say, I am impressed. He also teared our backpack. That's it. I'm very disappointed in that moose. Okay. Let's use our sewing kit and start repairing some of these here before I head down into the basement to see what goodies there are. So, we reinforced our briefs. Let's reinforce our sh our socks, our knit scarf. Please. There we go. How about our backpack? Can we reinforce that? Oops. Actually, let's do this. Am 
I have a rags? No. So why am I... Sewing kit. Activate it. No. Activate. Sewing kit. Backpacks reinforced. Jeans. Good. Sewing kit. Jeans. Alright. Filter mask. Oh, a pair of sneakers actually. Alright. Filter mask, I think I need plastic chunks. But the sleeve, sh long sleeve shirt, I'm good with. Okay, I should be good for now. Let's head into the basement. So if this game goes anything like it's already gone, gone, um, I'll probably open this door and get swarmed by thousands of zombies. Alright. So far, so good. There is items down here. Let's go straight for the flashlight so I can turn that on real quickly and see what's in here. Okay, so there's no zombies. That's all I wanted to see. I see some screwdrivers. Actually, let's... Um, a sweatshirt, a hammer. That's great. That's good. We can start crafting other things right off the bat. Um, pillow. Oh, that's good, actually. For We can put that in our the area we want to sleep in. A heat bag, a matchbook, a tin clam, a can of clam chowder, plastic bag of cotton balls, a sweatshirt, and a screwdriver. Okay, actually two screwdrivers. Sweet, this is good. This is good stuff. No, oh, sorry there. I paused the game for a second. I uh, I had a sneeze coming on. Okay, so this is good. Let's grab some of this stuff. Actually, let's turn our flashlight off. Now that I know there's no zombies down here, um, let's conserve batteries. So drama. The drama novel. We'll keep that there for now. We'll take any food we can find. I'll keep the sweater there, the wool socks, because I don't believe I'm really that cold. Actually, my guy's freezing his ass off. Let's pick up the sweater and let's uh, wear the sweater. Mess that up. There we go. So we put the sweater on. There we go. Our torso's good. Our head is still cold. Left and right hands are still cold. That's fine. We'll craft some gloves. Sci fi novel will keep. Pillow will pick up. Screwdriver. Let's pick up one screwdriver. I'll keep the other one down here. Cotton balls, I don't think, have much of a use that I know of. Heat pack. All right. That should be everything I need. Oh, yes. Matchbook. Okay. That should be everything that I want. There's not really anything else down here I want. I got the hammer now, so I should be able to craft a stone knife out of this rock here in the other section. Maybe. Tools. Stone knife. What do I need? String. That's easy. I have plenty of long string right here. Let's go back over into other. Oh, what else am I missing? I have a hammer, hammer on me. One small string. 20 seams, 20 thread, or 20 plant fibers. Oh, okay. Well, that's that's even that's even still simple. Long string. I just simply need to. Uh, that is not the long string. That is the long string. I just simply need to disassemble it. That should give me plenty of small string that I should now be able to use. To, yes, to build my stone knife, which will be good for uh, butchering these corpses that we have laying around. All right. So you craft a stone knife from memory. Beautiful. Let's go down and butcher this here. We've got plenty of food right off the bat. Lots of chunks of meat, chunks of fat, raw pelt, um, some bone. Um, actually, we'll leave that for now. Actually, we won't even pick up any of the chunk meat. The reason, f uh, chunks of meat. The reason for that is because uh, I don't plan on cooking them right now. I'd actually like to do a little bit of scavenging before nightfall. Um, and hit these houses that are right over here, especially since we can hit the back of the houses. So we can temporarily avoid any zombies. We're actually sitting pretty good right now. Let's drop off some of the stuff we picked up from the basement before I forget. This will probably be where we stay the night. It's not going to be a permanent home, um, but it will be where we sleep tonight. So let's drop the hammer off. I'm not worried about keeping that. The heat pack. We'll keep the stone knife on us for butchering. We want to get our survival up, but we can drop the screwdriver. We'll keep some food on us for now. Um, the pillow can definitely be dropped. Where are we going to sleep? Probably in the basement. Probably right here on the floor. I'll craft a blanket at some point, so I need to grab some sheets. Let's drop the pillow there then. Let's head back up. Let's drop our medical supplies off, uh, the, the bits that we don't need. That'll actually be our crafting area, so we'll drop medical supplies right here. Um, I'll drop 20 of the antibiotics. 
100 of the aspirin. I only need 20 aspirin on me for this run. We'll drop the Ambien, the Prozac, Thorazine, Trimadol, keep the vitamins, drop the Xanax. Those are things I need to kind of probably do a little bit of reading on to see what they actually are. I haven't really tried ex experimenting with drugs. Let's eat some of these vitamins before we head out. Mmm, some vitamins. That'll make sure we're nice and ready to go. So, uh, well, we're getting ready to venture out in the world. Uh, so far, we've lost our friend, uh, Murray Rios, which is a damn shame. We've gotten attacked by two moose within probably three minutes of starting the game. Uh, found a decent amount of good supplies in the basement, picked up a wood axe. We're sitting pretty good on drugs now. Plenty of antibiotics and disinfectant, which is really important just in case we get bitten. Some food. I'd like to say we're sitting pretty good. So I'm going to cut the episode off here. Next episode, we're going to try to hit the town. Going to try to loot some of these houses here. Maybe see if we can't push for the military surplus store. Actually, the gun store might even be a better option. It's a lot closer. Can't see if we can't get ourselves equipped with a nice firearm off the bat. And uh, maybe start finding out where we're going to set up a more permanent home. So I hope you enjoyed the episode. Please feel free to subscribe and so you can get some updates on when new episodes come out. I'm going to be doing this a lot more often. Um, as well as also check out my Twitch channel if you'd like to see me streaming uh, this game plus other games that I play live and interacting with me, asking questions and the such. So, uh, hope you enjoyed it. Have a good day.